we just saw the biggest flock that we've seen so far this season. There's probably 30 to 40 birds in there, two, 300 yards right over here. So we've got Kurt from Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. He's gonna be the number one shooter and I'll be clean up. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited. We woke up today with two inches of snow on the ground. It looked like winter started. Now the sun's come out, the snow's gone. Kurt drove from Sheridan, Wyoming this morning. They got hit with eight to nine inches of snow. So we're really tickled kind of how this afternoon's going off. Now we got Kurt in the house. We've been doing some scouting, doing some driving around. We just got hooked up with Ken, who has allowed us to hunt probably for the last four years. COVID came in last year and we didn't have a hunting season out here. So this year we're excited to be back. Gave the turkeys one extra year to get bigger and, and more of them. And uh, so we've seen turkeys out in the field and we're gonna kind of slide down here to the west and see if we can call one in and, and uh, have some magic this afternoon. So good luck, Kurt. Aim small, miss small. Or shoot, shoot straight <laughs> or shoot a lot. No, just kidding. He's a, he's a killer. So You're reading Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, but I'm not reading that. I'm reading Widow Maker. I've been in the darkness for 40 days. I've been Searching for holy flames, a sign to light up the way. So, can you help me out? Can you help me out?
story to tell after this hunt. He went stone down. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, it, this is such a perfect piece of property to set up for turkey hunting because they're out working in the field, getting ready for their last eating before they go come into the roost. Well, there's a berm that's about five to six feet high, and you can walk along the berm to help get your your setup and that's exactly what we did kurt putted on the diaphragm i used the box call and got two toms coming this way the weird part was and you guys couldn't see it but one was limping so there was one that was uh you know had a bad foot so they came in like they came in on a rope 50 yards and then then they locked up something just didn't seem right and they stood there then i called a few times and they came another couple more steps and then they stopped and then they were starting to go away and when um kurt took the shot and I'll tell you, <laughs> that weatherby at 50 yards was, yeah. was pretty impressive so just an awesome hunt this afternoon make it happen really really quick like this and so now we're gonna head back to camp probably get back to camp before dark which never happens get a good belly of food get warmed up and get ready to go in the morning so that is a heavy bird that's the heaviest bird by far not even close yeah. we got to put the scale on him that could be one of that could be busting close to 23 pounds and, it, and we've never shot one 24 out of all the hundreds of turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big bird. You shot the dominant of the two, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, I don't know who saw the turkey. Austin. Austin sees the turkey and goes, boom, and then just up from the hand is a is a strutting tom. And it, it was just snow and squall. We got snow on the ground right here, but then we got blue skies. So we're gonna go down this um, draw right here and hopefully we can get close enough, do some calling, see if we can get him to come in where he had coming from, because it looks like he's going in a northerly direction. We're coming in from the south, so if we can get him in. Kurt 
This could be a beautiful bird for a tag out for Kurt. It's a nice long beard. What do you think there, Kurt? I think I like this sky getting opened up. Hope it stays that way. And uh, I think we can make this happen if we do it just right. Let's do it. All right, we're just gonna sneak up here. Lord willing, they can't skyline us, but we'll see. Job on the calls. Nice one. That was solid. We needed that talk. We needed that talk. Big time. <laughs> we needed that because he was. That's a. That could be an older bird, but he was a smart bird. It took forever. Oh, yeah. He was gonna come here, and he showed up there. And. You kept talking and he would come. When you stopped talking, then he would hold up. Yeah, he liked it. He liked yeah. it a lot. <laughs> Your first legit call. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a beautiful bird. When he come over that thing, you look at like a 55 gallon drum. Yeah, when you were standing up trying to find him, yeah, I could hear him spitting. I could, pssst, I could, I'm like, I know he's out there because I can hear him spitting. And when you hear that, you know he's, he's close. fairly he's close. close. Yeah, usually yeah. inside of 70 yards or something. Yeah, they're... You stoned him. Woo! He looks like a pretty good bird. No idea about any of his credentials. That's a big bird. Nice long beard. Yeah, that is very long. Look, Look at this. Oh so my gosh! No! Woo, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a limb hanger! That is. He shot right, a limb hanger. He was an old smart oh. bird. Yeah, that's legit. That, yeah, do I have you? Yeah, it's a freaking limb right? hanger tank. Look at the snoos on that dog. The hooks on him are he's long. Like, he just came to second place. <laughs> yeah, he's legit. It could be, because he was just talking about mountain one. <laughs> yeah, that might be the one. Yeah, it, it's, this is a four-year-old bird, easy. That might be the one. Wow. Yep. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, he yeah, he uh, he got 
crushed. Nice. nice job. He got crushed. This was, was a awesome. smart bird. Not often do you get to hunt or you're hunting uh, a real, real mature prairie gobbler. A lot of these turkeys get killed between their, you know, their second and third year of life. And we've killed now, this is 19 gobblers out here on this hunt. This one here is at least a four and a half year old turkey. And when I first saw it, I'm like, I have a sneaky suspicion this thing is like, had a few seasons under his belt. And when he came in to the call, he was acting to like another, uh, a whole nother level of thinking. He didn't just come straight in, although he could see the, uh, the decoy, he could hear Autumn calling, and so he's coming to it, but he's he started flaring it off to the right to get on a higher level to look down to make sure it was all legit. And Kurt, man, at probably 25 yards, Kurt, yeah. something like that, crushed him, but that bugger was not coming straight in and throwing all caution to wind. So hunting a big mature gobbler is super special. So. This was an awesome experience to finally kill that over three and a half year old bird to a four and a half and, and possibly older. But this guy here has seen some, a lot of experiences, dodged probably many bullets with coyotes and everything else that, that happens out in this country. So this was really a special bird to kill. And of all of the turkeys that, that uh, Kurt has killed through his life, this one might actually be full mounted due to the age and the, the whole deal so yeah. really a special bird absolutely and to have it be autumn's first one to call in yeah that was mean. that was awesome that was just super cool man way to go buddy yeah thanks a bunch yeah